KRK4 News at 1230. Welcome back. Helping people maintain or improve their hearing health could enhance their overall well-being and reduce their risk of falls and health conditions associated with untreated hearing loss. Joining us today, Dr. Philip Smith, the Senior Medical Director for United Healthcare of Arkansas with tips to prevent it and what to do if you're already dealing with hearing loss. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Well, let's start by talking about the types of noises that can cause hearing loss. Okay, so there, there are really two ways that you can develop hearing loss. Uh, the, the one most people think about is the loud, sudden noise, so gunshot, explosion, even mm -hmm. firecrackers are all at about 120 decibel. That, anything that high is enough to cause a sudden uh, permanent hearing loss, but less well known are the constant exposure to lower level uh, noises mm. in the 85, 90 uh, to 100 range. Uh, so normal conversational tone like we're doing is about 60 decibels. Uh, and examples of 85 to 90 dishwasher power tools, lawnmower, even traffic. So prolonged exposure to those type of noises can also result in hearing loss. So it's really the consistency of that if we're constantly hearing those. Correct. You don't think about that. You really don't, but uh, we're all exposed to those uh, level of noises every day. So what do we do to protect ourselves? So there's a, a couple of things, you know, for the loud noises, it's best to avoid them, but mm -hmm. you can't always do that. Uh, for the chronic daily uh, noise, anything that you can do to take a break from the noise. Mm -hmm. So if you're in an industry where a lot of background noise such as a fitness instructor mm -hmm. one that you might not even think about restaurant worker uh, concert uh, worker mm -hmm. to take some breaks while you're exposed to those noise to leave the area for a while take a break and then most importantly when you know that you can't avoid it to use good hearing protection this is very interesting you say foods we eat can affect affect our hearing that's I've never heard that before a absolutely you know a good healthy diet mm -hmm. uh, is important for a lot of health conditions but uh, you know at, at United Healthcare we're, we're starting to look at all the senses and what we can do because your senses do impact other uh, diseases as well so uh, you know for the damage that's already occurred mm -hmm. uh, medication not medications uh, foods like uh, uh, vegetables that have a lot of zinc in them, mm -hmm. uh, potassium in them, and folic acid. So your, your green leafies, mm -hmm. um, nuts, beans, all those help your body repair the, the damage to the nerve cells. And then there's also good evidence that magnesium can actually protect your ears. Mm -hmm. So uh, examples, artichokes, potatoes, tomatoes, and broccoli, uh, things that are all readily available can actually, uh, even if you're exposed, lessen the likelihood that you'll develop hearing loss. That's so interesting. I've always heard carrots for the eyes. Right. So now we know there are foods that are good for your ears. Thank you so much for joining us. You're very very vital information. We are back with more right after this. Stick around.